the power of artificial intelligence was on full display in Austin, Texas at South by Southwest. From robotics to transportation, and even healthcare. But what about art, you ask? Ultimately, what I think it does is allow more people to be artists. Adam Fine, the head of audio and music at Fiverr, says AI will push the boundaries of artistic endeavors. <laughs> oh, no. oh, okay. Like music, writing, and design, creating new avenues for what artists can achieve. We're gonna see how people, freelancers, professionals, experts, continue to use this tool. Um, and ultimately, humans will be the, the winners and we'll see humans continue to get more creative and more productive. As a musician myself, I was curious about what all of this might mean for the next generation of music. When we think as musicians what the next kind of iterative phase of music is with AI layered on top of it, I mean, what does that even look like to you? I think the possibilities are, are endless. So endless that in just a few months, AI-generated artworks have spread across the internet like wildfire, and developers made a boatload of money for what seemed like an original idea. Especially in the art space, we have lawsuits that have been taking place around representation and compensation. So artists are often having their art put into the data set to train those models without any notification and without any compensation um, or notice and or attribution. People have put out their life's work onto the internet and now these models have come along and scraped the whole internet and said, we're just training it on everything. Theft of intellectual property is hardly a modern problem, but leave it to the free market to come up with a modern solution. Image licensing companies like Getty and Shutterstock are diving head first into the AI wave, using their massive image databases to build AI content generators and sharing the profits with contributing artists. The way that people tell stories is continue to evolve always, whether it was at one point images and it was video, now it's music, now it may be generative content. So what does the future of creativity look like? The way I describe it is, you're sitting in a pitch meeting, you're trying to bring an idea to life, and you may have a vision in your head of astronauts eating breakfast on Mars. In the past, how do you actually describe that to a room full of creatives to help them understand and conceptualize what you're talking about? Now, they can just describe that, get a visual, and now they're not starting from a blank piece of paper. They're starting from something that humans naturally can visually relate to, and they can build stories on top of that.